Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of James Jam. I am Jane, this is my jam. You'll see I'm wearing my new sweatshirt or cardigan from uh, H&M that I got. And uh, this is just a Target t-shirt, actually from the men's section. Um, okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do for you today is I decided to do, uh, uh, I don't even know what to call it. I was first gonna say I was going to do if I only could choose five bags to have, what five bags would I pick? And I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I thought, um, okay, I'll, I'll take a backpack, I'll take a small purse, I'll take a dressy purse, I'll take, um, you know, trying to fit into like the different categories maybe that I could use them for. And then I thought, who am I kidding? If I only got five bags, I'd probably take my five favorite bags, right? I mean, why wouldn't you, um, you know, like, oh, I would like a backpack, but hey, this cross body will do. I mean, it's just how I kept thinking about stuff. And so then I thought I'd pick my five favorite bags. And um, then I thought again, oh, I just, I don't know that I could pick five favorites. And so I was stuck with kind of a, a mix in between, like, so I decided to do my five favorite bags that I would probably pick if I could only pick five of my bags. How about that? Um, yeah, I think that's how, what I'm going to title this one and just kind of go over them with you just just to tell you why and what I think. Um, I think the next video I do um, or one of the next ones I want to do um, if I was choosing, if I wanted to choose five bags to kind of um, fit any circumstance, what five I would pick. That might be one of the ones I do next, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do something a little bit different and I found it really hard to choose between favorites and versatility. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. So my five favorites when taking into consideration versatility. Let's say that's what this is. And right now I'm gonna take everybody there is who wants to, who watches this and wants to do this take to do it um I'll also take some people in the description box but um yeah I thought it was really interesting it's it's very hard because um again if I was gonna pick if I could only have five bags why wouldn't I pick my five favorites right but if I was gonna have five bags and I wanted to make sure I had five bags that I could use for all different occasions. That makes it just a little bit different. And honestly, these five that I've picked here, um, actually, I one I cheated. It's it's two, but um, you'll see what I mean. Um, it was really super hard. And to to tell you the truth, my mind could change probably on any given day. Let's be honest. Um, you know, do you ever kind of really really like a bag and then maybe use it enough? Um, or have it not be versatile enough for you and then kind of take a pause from it and then you don't use it for a while, but then you use it again and then you're like, oh my gosh, I love this bag. You know, kind of like that happens. So um, what I would choose for my five favorite bags, taking into consideration versatility as well, is, okay, my first pick brought them all out just so a little a little eye candy here for you all right this was a hard choice too um because I absolutely love my Chanel wallet on chain I think that bag is the bomb but between that one and this one I had to pick this one because this one could carry a little bit more if need be but it could be considered just a wallet on chain kind of as well based on the size it could go casual it could go nighttime and this baby's just a beauty and this is my uh reissue bag it's coming up a little bit more teal on camera or like bluish than i think it is it's more of a greenish blue than a bluish green if that makes sense but yes i just have this in the reissue and i'm sorry but this chain this is just everything this bag is beautiful to me it's a classic and 
it could work almost as a clutch. It can work um, as a shoulder bag. It can work as a crossbody bag. Um, you know, you could well tuck the chains in, obviously, to make it more like a um, a clutch. But um, yeah, this this one for sure would be in there. And then the next bag that I would choose would be. Sorry, no surprise here. My Chanel large double flap. To me, this bag is the epitome of uh, the the uh the best bag. I know some people think like if they get Hermes, that's like the pinnacle of where they want to be. And, um, you know, I'm sure there's other fashion houses or even, um, bags from fashion houses, like a Burke and a Kelly, you know, like that's some people's be all end all. Like I've really got something when I have that bag. To me, it was this, this Chanel double flap in the large size. I love this. I don't even know how else to, uh, to explain it. I love this bag. I love this bag. To me, she is beautiful. She is grace. She is elegance. She's silver hardware. She, oh, she can be casual. She can be dressy. She says, <clears throat> yes, I'm here now. She's just, uh, she's oh, art. To me, this bag is art. Other people find other bags like art, um, but to me, this is the pinnacle. This is the be-all, end-all. There will never be another bag that I receive that would be as monumentous to me as this bag. I could get a Birkin or a Kelly, and if I had the money to get a Birkin or a Kelly and or spent the money to get a Birkin or a Kelly, um, it still will never mean to me what it meant to me to get this bag. I, it won't. It, Cause once I've had this one, nothing could kind of beat that. So even if I got a Birkin, even if I got a Kelly, no, no, this to me was the epitome of greatness when it comes to bags. I just love this black double flap and it has the beautiful burgundy interior. This, that's it. So yeah, if I had five bags, if I had to pick five, th this, this baby's coming. This baby is going to be in the pile. So for sure that bag. Did I say enough about it? Yeah, I think I did. All right. Let's do something a little bit different now. Another bag that I think I would pick, and I had a really hard time with this one as well. Um, I would pick a Louis Vuitton bag and I think it would have to be my Speedy 25. It looks like it could use some little, some help right now. So let's just, let's help it. Shall we? Here we go. Oh, it looks a little nicer now. Okay. So um, I have the, okay, I never know how to say it, the Bologna, B-O-L-O-G-N-E bag, which she's gorgeous. She's a night bag. She's a day bag. She's a casual bag. She's a dressy bag. She is beautiful, and I might have picked her and she's in the classic, and I don't know what I like better, if I like the monogram or the Damier Bean. I know that this was the beginner bag, you know, the, the pattern, but man, she really, sit up nice. Um, no, but um, she, I don't know which one I like better. I think I like this one better now, which is really funny because I used to like the cla the mon regular monogram. But I was going to pick that, but honestly, um, after picking the Chanel's that I picked, there wouldn't be any need to have that. If I'm going to be versatile, there wouldn't be any need for that one. Um, based on the size of it, compared to some of the other bags I've chosen and stuff, they're just there wouldn't be a need. So this one edged it out because this bag is just, she might be a little hard to get in and out of, you know, but still she's roomy. I mean, I'm not taking any more than what fits in here anywhere because this can fit more to me than even like the, the double flap here. So if I'm going somewhere and I'm hauling an awful lot of stuff, it's going in here. This bag is beautiful. She's classy. I love her again, day or night. 
and she would fit anything I'd need to bring, especially if I needed to bring a little bit more, and I can cross body her. So it would be that. All right, then we're gonna go back to another Chanel bag. This is my boy bag with the um, kind of like ruthenium type of hardware. And it's just a single flap. Well, like all boy bags are. And it's just got a nice little pocket in there. I have an organizer in there. But um, to me, this bag is just, it's just cool. This bag is edgy. It's, it's makes a statement. It is noticeable. People see it. I, it, mine's beautiful. It's, it's like new. She's, it's just a little different. It's just a little, like I said, it's like a little edgy, a little, hey, I'm here. I'm, you know, I, I might be a little naughty. I might be a little nice. I'm just, it, to me, it makes a different statement than any of the other bags I have here. And she was my first bag. This is the first bag I ever bought. Yeah, I, I think I had buyer's remorse for about six months after I bought her. Um, but not anymore. <laughs> and um, I just, yeah, I love the color. I love the style. I love the hardware. I I just I just think this bag is just cool. It, it, it fits a need that none of the other bags could fit because this one, this one to me is just edgy. It just gives off a little more something than the other bag. So uh, I would have this, this one in there as well. She's just so pretty. And then the last one, I'm gonna have to say as a tie, I, I just can't in my heart of hearts choose one or the other. I just, I can't. So the one up until very recently would have been my Celine Nano, and I, I have three of these. I have my original one I bought, I have an orange one, and I have this one, and trust me when I say, if I had to pick a favorite out of my my Nano totes, it's the orange one. It just is, there's just something about orange. But if I'm going for my favorite, taking into consideration versatility, then it's gotta be the denim. Because I don't have any other denim bags. I want something that's a little more casual at times. It's still got the leather that to me dresses it up. And um, and I love this bag. Like I said, up until very recently, out of all bags for the money, for what you can get luxury-wise, Celine Nano is, is my baby. It is my favorite. I have three. Do I think more might be in my collection? Yeah, I do. I absolutely adore these bags. But... As I've said in some recent videos, something happened to me when I got this. The Mulberry. Um, okay, why can't I think of the name? The Alexa Zippered Mini Tote. There is something about this bag that just, it just, tickles my fancy. It's just, it just makes my heart. Mm, it's, she, she comes out of the bag and I'm excited. And I carried this for, I swear, like three or four weeks. I could not put it down. It, you know, I couldn't switch it out. And um, I finally did. And I'm giving some other bags some love now. I'm trying out my Versace for the first time, La Medusa. And it, I'm loving it. It actually fits way more in it than I thought it would. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I'm, for my fifth choice would be a tie between the two. I just, I can't, I just can't totally give it up for, for the Celine Nano yet. But, oh, she's so good. She's bigger. She, others in her color saturation is so good. She doesn't have the little sunglass thing, though, in the back. And I really like that. And it's a little bigger. And, yeah, so those would be my top five, five and a half, um, Okay, six, but let's call it five. Um, bags I would pick if I was picking out my favorite, taking into consideration versatility. So what would you choose? What was your favorites out of them? Are there any that you look at that and say, gosh, Jamie, I know some of the bags you have and thought that one would not have been in here, but this one would have been? Um, I'd be really anxious to hear it. Um, 
and uh, I'll tag a bunch of people down in the description box. If I don't tag you, but you'd like to do it, please, please go ahead and do it. Um, I want to thank all my current subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Uh, give me a like if you don't mind and leave a comment. I absolutely love interacting with everybody in the comments. It's been really nice getting to kind of know people. And I feel so bad. Um, I never used to comment on people's videos because I used to think that I didn't want to bother them. And, um, or, well, they have so many comments, they're never going to look at mine. And maybe that would be the case with some of the YouTubers that I watch that, you know, have half a million subscribers. But if they're like me, if I ever had half a million subscribers, um, or even just a ton, I still think that I'd be looking at the comments. And, and they state that they do. Um, I like to think they do. But again, I don't want to kind of get lost in the shuffle or... Or again, like I said, they probably wouldn't read it or wouldn't care or whatever. And I, I noticed that now that I create that I absolutely care. And I absolutely like people's opinions. And I, the biggest thing is the sense of community um, that you get. And getting to share and interact with people and kind of getting to know them a little bit. Um, their little piece of the world and share a little piece of yours with them. So, um, yeah, I just love it so just so you know um again um like comment subscribe okay ding 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 did that until oh i put on videos on wednesdays and saturdays and until next time please do unto others as you would have them do unto you <laughs> thanks bye